Have you ever been mindlessly swiping on a dating app only to realize hours later that you've either matched with people who are completely not your type or no one at all? Same. But why is it so easy to make bad choices while swiping? Today we're diving into the psychology of swiping and why your thumb might be sabotaging your love life. Before we begin, please subscribe and like this video to support us. So let's start with why we can't seem to stop swiping. Turns out, dating apps are designed to be addictive. Ever heard of variable reward schedules? It's the same principle used in slot machines. You don't know when you'll get a match, but when you do, it triggers a little dopamine rush. Your brain's a happy chemical. Which is why we keep swiping and swiping, even when we know the next profile probably won't be the one. Your brain is basically thinking, just one more. The next swipe could be gold. Spoiler alert, it probably won't be. Now here's where it gets tricky. Ever stood in a grocery aisle with 50 different cereal brands and had no idea which one to pick? That's choice overload, and it happens on dating apps too. When we're faced with too many options, it actually makes decision making harder. We either get super picky, or we just make random choices because it's mentally exhausting. That's why you might swipe left on someone amazing or right on someone who doesn't match your interests at all. And let's talk about the halo effect. Basically, if someone looks really attractive, our brain automatically assumes they have all these other great qualities, even though we know nothing about them. Yep, that's how we end up matching with the person who's perfect on paper, or rather in pixels, but turns out to be a total mismatch once you actually talk. Our brains are tricked into thinking, oh, they're hot. They must be nice, smart, and love dogs. But all you get is a cute face and radio silence. Now, here's a fun one. Loss aversion. Ever keep swiping because you're afraid of missing out on someone better? You match with someone cool, but your brain whispers, what if there's someone even better just a few swipes away? This is classic FOMO, fear of missing out. It makes you second guess your choices and sometimes not choose anyone at all. We swipe and swipe and swipe, hoping for that perfect match, but let's be real, no one is perfect, except maybe my dog. Ever swipe right on someone and then immediately think, Wait, why did I do that? Yeah, that's called swiping. It happens because our brains make snap judgments based on tiny bits of information, like a single photo or a short bio. We're not always thinking clearly when we swipe. Sometimes we're bored, sometimes we're tired, and sometimes we're just swiping because we can. So next time you find yourself wondering why you matched with someone who has a five picture of and two selfies. Alright, so now that we know why we make bad choices on dating apps, how do we fix it? Let's keep it simple. One, take your time. Don't rush through profiles like it's a race. Two, limit your swipes. Don't overload yourself with too many options at once. Three, avoid swiping when you're tired or bored. You're more likely to make impulsive decisions. Four, focus on more than just looks. It's tempting to go with the most attractive profile, but read those bios, people. So next time you're swiping, remember that your brain is trying to mess with you but now you're one step ahead. Have you ever made a bad swipe and regretted it? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your stories. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more relationship tips and dating insights. See you next time.